Godot is such an amazing game engine, lightweight yet powerful, friendly and fun, and it has a playfulness about it which just draws people in and makes them want to experiment and invent. It's no wonder so many are trying to share their skills and every day I find new and interesting YouTubers who are spreading their love of Godot far and wide. Here are today's top 5 tutorial makers for this week. Jackie is a programmer who started her game, game dev journey, journey in Unity but soon switched to Godot. On her channel Jackie Codes, she makes really entertaining devlogs and you can learn a lot all while having fun at the same time. Her latest game is set in ancient Greece and she learns a lot while trying to implement more intelligent AI for the enemies and bosses. Of course, she wants to share that knowledge with you, so please head over to her page and subscribe to find out how it's done. Assert has a new tutorial out explaining how to programmatically draw 3D lines and points in Godot. Assert also has devlogs on the game he's making. It's a tower defense roguelike with base building elements which make it really unique. His devlogs and tutorials are well put together and to the point. This is a great resource for all Godot developers and you should subscribe so that you don't miss another video. If you want a step by step guide on how to create a stylized water shader in Godot, then look no further than the channel of the Solar Strength. The shader supports transparency, adjusting the number of water shades, wave height, wave speed, color correction, foam or shoreline, normal map and adjusting normal map intensity, all among many other things. The source code is available on GitHub and the Solar String just does an amazing job of walking you through this on his channel. I highly recommend subscribing to Solar's channel because his tutorials for Godot are all in C-sharp so those familiar with the language or coming over from Unity will be very at home here. An excellent resource. Matinator has a tutorial out demonstrating and explaining how to make the transition from menu scene to game scene in a multiplayer Godot game and then spawning the players in. I'm astounded that I've only come across Matinator's channel now because he has so much Godot tutorial content it really is incredible. There are tutorials here ranging from beginner to experienced, so truly something for everyone. I cannot recommend this enough. Go there and subscribe right now. If you're experimenting with Godot 4 and you want to play around with Global Illumination or SDFGI, then Tutor Tomato can be of assistance. He has a tutorial up explaining how to set up SDFGI and Bake Mode in Godot 4. On his channel there are also Godot 4 tutorials highlighting some of the new features, so if you're curious about what's to come and how to use it, then Tutor Tomato is your source. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.